Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome to my channel. I do a lot of content on IT, cybersecurity, education, and career type stuff, but today's video is going to be about the final project for the Western Governors University Computer Science Program. Basically, I made a middleware that kind of takes random images from 4chan, does like some analysis on them, like displays the images, and then makes prediction about whether or not the image is safe for work. So I'll kind of dive into the details of that as well as kind of do a few demos for it. So it's pretty fun in my opinion, so you should definitely stick around for that. So if you're kind of interested in WG or the computer science program, like at the end of this video, like maybe you'll have like a better idea of like kind of what you're getting into should you decide to go through like the curriculum and like what you'll have to do for the end project. I have this video here where I talk a lot more about my journey, I guess, through the comp sci degree. It took me like two months to graduate from the time I registered to the end. But in order to do it that fast, like kind of a lot of preparation like went into like studying and all that. But check out this video if you're interested in it. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So to give a little bit of context about this project, basically what you had to do is, in a nutshell, you kind of had to solve a business problem using machine learning of some sort. So for me, I just kind of made up a business in my head and then made up a problem and then I made up my own solution using machine learning. So, so in my case, basically what I did is I kind of pretended I was the owner of a message board, in this case 4chan, and our problem that we faced was like too many people are uploading like not safe for work images and it was causing like, you know, a lot of complaints for the other users. So kind of my solution was to develop some kind of image analysis middleware that would kind of intercept images when people uploaded them, like do some analysis on them. If the image is not safe for work, the image would be like filtered or dropped. But if it is safe for work, it would kind of be allowed to be posted on the forum. So that's kind of that's kind of the, the premise, I guess, behind this. And this kind of thing we're looking at here, this is like my app, actual application. This is basically like a proof of concept of the middleware that's like interactive that we can use. So I'll kind of use it a little bit and explain it at like kind of a superficial level. And then I'll explain it in depth of like what's happening with the back end and everything. And then I'll kind of explain how I trained uh, my portion of the machine learning model. And then we'll kind of look at some more demos, I guess, because it's kind of fun to use. So basically what we're looking at here is a lot of stuff is happening. So basically an image is a random image is pulled from 4chan. It's automatically blurred essentially, um, just in case, because I, I had to send this to the evaluator and the evaluator used it. And I don't want them to be like immediately exposed to like dead body or something because 4chan is like really sus like that. So basically, an image comes up and this kind of bottom portion, this is all metadata received from Azure Cognitive Services, which is kind of a an AI as a service. It's basically a REST API endpoint that you can send images to. So basically what happens is this image gets downloaded from 4chan. It gets kind of sent to Azure Cognitive Services REST API. The API does some kind of analysis on the image and kind of guesses how adult it is, like how racy or how sus in images, as well as if there's any gore in it. And then our backend that I developed takes this metadata and kind of sends it to this machine learning model, which is just another REST API endpoint running Django. This REST API endpoint kind of takes the these metadata and then uses the model that I created, which we'll talk about to kind of make a prediction about whether or, so, whether or not the image is safe for work or, or not safe for work. And then that is all that kind of data is then sent back to the front end and it's rendered here, like what we're looking at here. This all got sent back from the, the back end and like, you know, if it's safe for work, gets rendered properly and and so forth. So that's pretty much what's happening. I'll, I'll go into it more in depth, but I'll just kind of use it a few more times. This is obviously you can see what this is not safe for work, or it is safe for work. I'll look at a few more, I'll try to get a bad one. This metadata is kind of interesting because it, it's pretty accurate. A lot of the time, it's pretty funny. Uh, this one's grotesque for some reason. I don't know. Uh, it is kind of weird looking. I'll try to get like a not safer work one. This one's racy. Interesting. So Azure Cognitive Services, for example, thinks this image is really sus but my machine learning model thinks it's probably safe for work. And then cognitive services, it's kind of getting there. So I'll look to see what it is. That's definitely not safe for work. Kind of regret clicking that. Corey Harrison with a beard, very accurate. Another racy image, but probably safe for work. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this is questionable. It's, rel it's probably not safe for work. This is probably a fail on my model's part, but 
you know, it's, it's kind of hard. It's like one of those things where it's kind of like a, it's not black and white, right? You know, who, who knows? This is, this is safe for YouTube probably, but I'll probably blur it out because I don't want to get demonetized again. Uh, let me look at just like one more, then I'll, I'll kind of get into the, the details of it. Yeah, very interesting. So a kind of more in depth on what happens on the back end in terms of the REST API endpoints and all of that. So I'll kind of play this, this slideshow I made. So this React front end thing right here, that's basically the web page, basically the web page we were just looking at. So once we browse to the web page, our front end sends a GET request to our, maybe it's a post request, I can't remember how I implemented, but it sends a request to our back end in Azure. Most of this is in Azure. Uh, this is running on Azure App Services. It sends a request to the back end saying, okay, give me a new analysis, give me a new image from 4chan and give me some analysis. So the back end takes that and it's like, okay. And then the back end sends a request to 4chan for like a random, uses a 4chan API to get like a random image from a random thread and takes that image and then downloads the image onto the back end temporarily. And then that image is then rehosted in Azure blob storage because we can't hot link images from 4chan. So we have to rehost the image in Azure blob. Once that image is rehosted in Azure blob, the back end then sends the image to Azure cognitive services for that kind of initial analysis, like the adult racy slash sus and gore cognitive services does that kind of analysis on it and then forwards the metadata back to the back end. So this adult score, if it's like completely adult material, this will be like a one, right? If it's like not adult at all, like it's safe for kids, then it will be closer to zero, if that makes sense. So this is scores between zero and one. Cognitive services forward that to the back end. The back end then takes this metadata here and then forwards it to our Django REST API, which is kind of running our machine learning model. This endpoint kind of takes this metadata, the adult racy and gore score, and then makes a prediction whether like not safe for work or safe for work, and then kind of sends that prediction back to the back to our back end, like our main back end, I guess, running uh, Node and Express. Then this back end takes like all that metadata and kind of forwards it to the front end, which is where it's rendered, which is like what we were looking at just a second ago. So for example, if I go back here, I wonder, I think I can do this. So I will uh, get a new picture and then I think I think we can see it. Yes. Oh man, I wish that I could like, let me do this. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to zoom it in a little bit, but basically this kind of last step here from the back end to the front end, basically this is like the kind of the payload, I guess, or the full metadata set that it gets sent back from the, 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 the back end, I guess. So all this like adult racy score and stuff, these kind of little cap captions you see, this is from Azure Cognitive Services, Christian Bale, blah, blah, blah. And you can see that probably here got rendered Christian Bale with hands on his hips. I didn't make use of this, but it makes like coordinates for like where it locates certain things in the image. It's really interesting. This is the type of picture it was. This was like the original 4chan URL. This is the rehosted image, right? Where I, I rehosted the image to Azure Blob Storage. And then this is the analytics here. You can see it uh, here. So basically this is like kind of lifetime analytics, like how many images of I've analyzed, how many of those were adult, how many were sus uh, and so forth. And image URL, again, the original URL and this AIML verdict, this is uh, this thing right here. So if it's like, if it's true, it means it's adult, I guess. And if it's false, it means it's, it's not adult, I suppose. So I'll kind of get into the machine learning model here, how I trained it. Let me just like look at two more of these because it's kind of fun. I can tell this is like something freaking sus already because this is like such a high score. Oh my my God. Okay, so getting into the machine learning model. So first, I'm just going to kind of show you how I gathered the data to train the model. And then I'll kind of get into how I actually train the model. I used sklearner or scikit-learn, the library for Python, by the way. So basically, to gather the data for my model, I basically would just kind of use this is really ghetto, by the way, and I could have scripted this, but I was like, so tired and burnt out at the time, I just did it manually. So basically, to, to train the model, I just kind of I would use this proof of concept, of course, like I didn't have this ML prediction portion yet, but I, I would just kind of use this web app I made. And I would just kind of load images like one by one, I would like take the image URL just to maintain it or just to retain it just in case. And then I would take this like adult score, racy score and gore score from here. So for example, in this case, it's 0 0.0119, 0 0.0134 and then 0 0.0203. And then and then there's this column over here that's like is adult. So here, this is where I would like use my human brain to like look at I would like look at this picture and be like, is this safe for work or not? Like, am I okay to look at this in a library? Or, or am I not? 
not okay to look at it in a library. And if it's bad, I would put like a one here. But if it's like an in innocuous image or it's safe, I'll put like a zero. So that's pretty much how I'd gather all the data I use to train my model. And I only trained the model off of 500 records because I was so tired and it took me like so long to gather these like kind of individual data that I just like gave up a 500. So I'll, I'll kind of ga gather data for one more. Uh, let me find like a bad one if I can. It's funny, you can see like lifetime analytics, about a third of all images pulled from 4chan have been like not safe for work. Okay, so here's a bad one. So I would like right click this, uh, copy image address, I would retain the address, like just to have it, I didn't really have any application for these yet. Um, other than to like reuse them in the future, I guess. And adult score, we can see here we got 99.13, racy score 99.83, grotesque is 0 0.2190 and then i look at this with my grown-up eyes yep not safe for work so i'd put like a one right here and that's pretty much that's how i gather like all the data to train the model and it's kind of interesting i'll kind of sh visualize this later for you but yeah that's how i gathered the data and then getting into how i train the data i just used sklearn or scikit-learn uh, which is like the python library that you can use for machine learning syntax is super easy i mean you can you can just look at it here and probably guess like what it does but basically there's like this x variable and the y variable basically the x variable is just these three rows this is like the data that we use to make our prediction. And then the Y variable is this kind of is adult row. And that, so the Y variable here, this is the is adult row, like basically what we're trying to predict. Uh, so basically what you do is you just feed, uh, you feed sklearn the stuff you want to use to make the prediction. And you feed it like the thing that you want to predict of like a complete data set. So something that I already used my grown up brain to, to kind of let it know, I guess, what its baseline should be. And it will kind of look through all these records and then it will try to kind of using this information and the stuff that's already here try to discern like what combination of adult score racy score and gore score will result in something being not safe for work if that makes sense so basically it just looks at these three attributes and then tries to uses the existing data that i gave it to try to make predictions like try to make a model that will make predictions about um, what combination of these three things results in something that's adult if that makes sense so that's that's pretty much the the direct implementation implementation of as far as the code goes to build the machine learning model and pretty much everything by the way I just want to say this like everything I I learned in this project for machine learning specifically like I didn't do ML like before this project at all I I pretty much used uh, code with Mosh's Python course because like at the very end they have like a machine learning model and it totally like went over like all this stuff you're kind of looking at on the on the left side of the screen over here so that's pretty much where I learned like everything like all my machine learning stuff and I'm not like that good at it but anyway it was enough to like pass this this class but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about and cover uh it's really fun to use this by the way also i want to say this whole like full stack web application thing and like all like the react and like all this crazy stuff that's like totally superfluous it's just something i wanted to do and it wasn't it wasn't really a requirement for this uh for this assignment i just wanted to do it because it was one of the last assignments i was doing and i just kind of wanted to have a little bit of fun with it so you don't you don't need to like go that far i think you can probably just use like python and make some like local like desktop application or some script or something with python um, it just depends on like what you decide to do for your project if you're the one that's like watching this because you're about to do it or something like this but yeah the wgu comp side program was like pretty fun i would say and i feel like i, I learned like a, a decent amount from it so if you're kind of on the edge about doing the comp side program or you know you're thinking about comp side in general i would definitely like check this video out because I, I talk about it like pretty in depth and i give some tips on how to get through it faster than normal like not counting the prep time for me, it took about two months to go through the whole comp site program. Of course, I did a lot of stuff before I actually got into the program. Like I, I took care of like calculus first and did a whole bunch of other stuff. And that took time, of course, but I, I talk about that a lot in the video. I also like if you're one of those people who are like, yeah, I want to go to like comp site, but I'm like kind of scared of the math and, and all this kind of thing. Like I made this video that talks about calculus, and like how to tackle calculus like really well. Uh, especially specifically uh, for the WGU computer science program. I would definitely check that out. I made another video that talks about how to take care of discrete math too as well, which is another one of those like super yikes. Wow. One of those like really difficult courses. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had. Uh, thanks so much for watching this far. If you have any uh, questions or you want to make a comment or criticism or anything, definitely like leave me a comment. I 100% respond to everybody in the comment section all the time. And I'll, I'll keep doing that until I just like can't anymore because I have too many subs. So 
if you have questions about WG or like any of the tech you've seen in this video or like anything at all, just feel free to leave comments. And if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It definitely helps me and the channel out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this far and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.